photo day for the UNLV football team, a day off from the daily grind. Also gives a chance uh, for the guys to smile for a while. It's time to smile. Photo day brings out the best side in every player. I said my right side, obviously. You know, look good. Say it turns to my left side. Come and take a picture of me in the middle. We gonna look good regardless. Uh, oh man, all sides. <laughs> or no sides, probably more like it. I don't think I have a bad side. If you're gonna be this good looking, you can't. No, I'm you just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can forget those serious faces, turn those frowns upside down, and look what you've got. That's Here right. Go. If you look good, you feel good and play good. Isn't that the old saying? I don't know about that. There's a lot of teams that look real pretty right now. We'll see how it ends up in the fall. So who's the man who should be on the cover of GQ? Troy Hawthorne. Who's probably in your mind the most photogenic out here? Uh, besides myself? Probably Tim Ho <laughs> or Antonio Zapata. They just got the typical body and look that all the girls want. It's all about Dakota Chrome. Pictures, selfies. There's a lot of guys who do pretty well on Snapchat. Selfie wise, I'd probably say Devontae. We got Devontae Boyd. If Devontae rules the selfie world, I thought I better get a shot with the king of all selfies. Like on a scale of one to ten, how photogenic is this team? Other than me, I think pretty photogenic, you know what I mean? <laughs> we got some guys that are, that are absolute characters. I think that's what made college football so great. You got all these kids from different areas of the country, you bring them together, and all these different personalities just light up the room. Well, he has a nice perspective uh, on all that. Now, scrimmage this Saturday open to the public beginning at 9.30 okay. in the morning. Okay.